Okay, I really want to talk about the mess thing right now, but first, I gotta do, you know, the as per usual, my, my low, my high, and my active kindness. Um, let's see. Where do I begin? I guess my low was sort of hearing about all the aftermath of the debate that happened on Tuesday night. I mean, I should have known right away that people were going to simply, you know, be talking about it at length after the fact. But in the end, I still technically didn't want to hear about it. But it it is what it is. I refuse to... I mean, if you want to talk about the debate, that's fine. I'm just simply... I'm just not going to do that. That's, that's not what I do. Like... I'm here to entertain in a way that's comfortable for others, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, uh, that was nice. My high, well, obviously I saw The Masked Singer last night. That was a lot of fun. I'll be talking about that in a moment. I'm actually going on. There we go. Um, I'm actually starting to feel a little bit better also. You know, like yesterday I said I was coming down with something, and... You know, I started taking a Mucinax, so, you know, I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, I still have sort of like a tickle in my throat because, you know, like, again, it's it's post, it's PND or post-nasal drip, so, you know, nothing too serious. You know, I'm like slowly but surely, you know, sort of like coughing it up, so, yeah, that that's made me feel a little bit better. But, you know, it's going to be a couple of days before things can really fall into place. As for my act of kindness, um, hmm. What was my act of kindness? Well, yesterday I actually went to go to the, I actually had to go to the dentist yesterday, and, um, I make my appointments early in the morning, partly because, like, as you guys know, because well, obviously I went to the dentist after I made my video, you know, I make sure that you know, I look nice, you know, dressed appropriately, obviously not naked. Um, you know, teeth clean, you know, fresh breath. And until I leave the dentist, I want to maintain that. Because, you know, my the dentist has to clean my teeth, you know. Clean bill of health, so that's nice. Um, yeah, you know, a clean mouth makes it easier for, you know, my dentist to get, you know, her work done. So that's always a very wonderful thing. And with that said, I have several things to talk about today. So let's start with the one thing I really want to talk about was last night's episode of The Masked Singer. Good morning. Happy Thursday, everybody. We have a lot to do today. There's lots of, there's a lot for me to see today. Holy cow. But, you know, let's talk about last night because, uh, ladies and gentlemen, something very unprecedented happened last night. On the mass singer. Well, a little bit of build up. You know, they started off with a group B today, uh, last night. And there were uh, six uh, singers there was the crocodile, the baby alien, who is amazing, by the way, in terms of costume. There were actually several unprecedented things happened last night. One of them was the baby alien was the first costume that had a working mouth. So, like, the guy is singing, and, like, he's using puppetry to, like, work the mouth. That's really cool. So, Baby Alien is going to be a favorite in this competition. You watch. Like, don't get me wrong. The Snow Owls are great. Now, I'm not taking anything away from them. But, yeah. I truly do believe that, um, you know, the, the Baby Alien is going to be, uh, Pretty, pretty big favorite. Um, oh, oh, excuse me. Yeah, yeah, and you know it's a late night for me if like, I'm yawning in the video, right? So, that was awesome. Uh, let's see. Okay, um, I'm pretty sure it was, uh, Nicole, you know, one of the guest judges on Mass Singer. Maybe it was one of the two girl judges who said, okay, the sun was a great way the Suns performance from last week, that was a great way to kick off the, um, 
kick off the competition. And it was. But holy cow, that seahorse. That was. I mean, I've yet, I mean, I'd rather wait until all three groups have gone at least once before I can make any kind of call whatsoever. But for now, in terms of female singers, I got to go with Between the Sun and the Seahorse. Like, I would not be surprised if, like, the Mass Singers, the Mass Singers Final Two comes down to the Seahorse and the Sun. Which, it'd be the second time in mask history that a woman wins the mask, the wins, wins the competition, wins the golden mask. Okay, I lost my train of thought for a second, but I, I'm back. I'm just so excited. I love this show so much. Um, okay. Why is this a whatchamacallit? Seriously, like, again, I missed season two. Completely because as I was moving into this apartment, I had like no cable whatsoever, so I couldn't watch anything at all. So I had no idea what the thing of a jig was. But the whatchamacallit. Okay. Uh that's something I never thought I'd see. Next I suppose you're gonna tell me that like come season six we're gonna get the who's a bob. But yeah, I want to make one thing clear. I mean, performance last night was awesome, but I'll get to the one that we're that we're. I'll get to the one that you're all anxious to hear me talk about momentarily. So the serpent, I mean, the serpent was really cool. You know, I like that we had a dragon last week and a serpent this week, and you know, we have a lot of reptiles and lizards, and uh, on this season, actually, so that. But let's get into the big one. The showstopper, the gremlin. Now, the gremlin's performance admittedly was kind of like the weakest of all six performers. So, I'm not entirely surprised that even, is even if like what wound up happening didn't happen, I still believe that the gremlin probably would have been voted off anyway. But the gremlin said it's hot in my costume. So he just decided to take off the costume right then and there. I'm not kidding. Literally like, it's hot in here, take it off. Boom, Mickey Roy. Which, okay. So with Mickey Roy, formerly known as the gremlin, and evidently eliminating himself, all five of the remaining contestants are still safe. Sure. Why not? That, uh, that works. So, all in all, that last night was fun. I mean, honestly, I always regret not being able to see the Mass Singer season two because I have like no cable in my place. But in terms of like, well, that's not entirely true. I did see the end of season two where it turns out that Wayne Brady was the Fox, but you know, that's still a bunch ton that I missed. Luckily though, I'm going to be good about watching it from now on. So I'm okay about that. I'm okay with that. Right? So yes, Mass Singer was great. Now, another thing we got to get into time I'll say, we have a new episode of Hot Ones. Yes, season 13 premieres this, well, generally morning, Eastern Standard Time, at 11 o'clock, on First We Feast, on YouTube. I'm excited. I get to see Jessica Alba, you know, take on the wings of death. I get the feeling she's going to do okay. I mean, let's be honest. Before any guest takes on the fiery wings of death that are hot ones, you know, all we really have to go on is speculation as to how they're going to handle the heat, what questions are going to be asked, you know, will the contestant drink water or milk, you know, everything under the sun, I'm sure every single fan of the show has asked themselves at some point before every single, um, uh, contestant was ever on Hot Ones, but 
in the end, it should still be pretty, um, it should still be very entertaining. I personally cannot wait. Now, um, before I get into my NFL pick for today, I want to make one thing perfectly clear that I messed up at the beginning of September. Now, sorry, again, you know, uh, nasal drip and allergies. Um, I said that we're in the fourth quarter of 2020, and I was wrong, because September 1st is not the final quarter of 2020, it's the final third. Today, October 1st, we are in the fourth quarter of 2020. Now, I've said several times already, if your 2020 has already been completely shot, ruined beyond repair, all that stuff, you know, I completely get it. Because with COVID-19 and the social distancing and, you know, all the cancellations and everything else, you know, a lot of my year has been advertently ruined too. And it's exactly as bad as you would think it is. But considering what good has come out of it, at least for me, you know, reconnecting with my folks, you know, starting videos like the Mom Food Chronicles. You know, I can't say it was all bad. You know, I was able to take some of the worst that this year had to offer and make it into something pretty special. In fact, some of even the best of this year. That's why lately I've been using the hashtag, make the rest of 2020 the best it can be. And I started doing that on July 1st because we effectively started the second half of 2020. And again, if your first half at the time of 2020 was bad, you know, I get it. But you still have an entire half a year to make a difference. Well, now you only have a quarter of a year to make a difference. And if even now your 2020 has still been, you know, pretty bad, I think it's time we make a fourth quarter comeback. Hey, I'm wearing a football jersey. I can make that reference, can I? So, yes, that's why from now on for the rest of 2020, I'll make some sort of new hashtag that you'll see in the title of every video down below. But know this and know this well. You know, it's October 1st. We have, we have Halloween. We have, you know, Veterans Day, Thanksgiving, the holiday season, you know, we actually have a lot of opportunities to make this final quarter the best. And whether you want to make it the best by default or just make it some of the best time of your life, you have an opportunity to make it happen. And I'm certainly going to take advantage of every opportunity that I personally see. But that's just me. I mean, what can I say? I've always, you've seen me enough to know I'm overly optimistic. So, I'm definitely going to make sure that happens. So, with that said, how about I kick off or finish up this video with my NFL pick for the day. Now, um, fun fact, hold on. I've actually been writing down my uh, record as to uh, what my, um, my weeks have been. See, week one, I was 10, 6, you know, 10 right, 6 wrong. You know, week two, you know, I got 12 right and four wrong, so 22 and 10. And a week three, I got another 12 right. I got technically only three wrong, but I got a tie. So that's why, if you're reading this correctly, my record is 34, 34, 13 and one. Honestly, I don't know why. I just don't simply put and one at the end of every one of these saying that's probably going to be the only tie this year but what can you do for now i'm just going to make my pick and um you know update this as the weeks go by honestly i also don't know why i didn't simply just m number them all to to 17. actually i'm gonna do you have a line spot 15. All right, well, I'd have to go, like, one more on the other side, or two more on the other side, because, you know, week 17, or maybe week 18, holy cow. 
But yeah, I'll make adjustments as time goes on. Don't you worry. Actually, I'll say it. I'll fix it in a minute. I was gonna write on top, you know, uh, right, uh, right wrong record, I guess is what I'll put on there. So um, I'll update that as I know this. So let's get today's game. The Broncos and the Dutch Broncos. Yeah, even if I didn't have family out in the state of Colorado, and even with the Broncos being a shell of what they ought to be because they're riddled with injury, I'm thinking the Broncos to win. If they, if the Broncos cannot win, then there really is no hope. I mean, they're playing against the Jets. What do you expect? Like, favorite, share, hit the subscribe button, follow me on the social media platforms, turn on the on YouTube. I'm very humbled to this video for all of you guys watching every day. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Thursday kickoff, final quarter of 2020. And remember, if you guys want to talk to Chad, I'm always going to be here to let you know as I'm back. Take care and make good choices. See ya.